Are you ready to rock? Are you ready to rock? Let's rock. Well, animals rock and animals roll. Well, animals climb up on your head and lose control. Some animals hip, some animals hop. Hop and hop. Well, animals they plop into the water with a belly flop. Because animals rock. All right, welcome everybody to our last episode of Bite Size Science for 2020. Who out there is ready for 2021? Me, I'm ready for 21, and I bet you guys are too. Uh, I've got this last episode here for you. We're going to have fun. Going to actually play two songs for you. I've taken a couple of holiday classics and turned them into science classics. Well, maybe not classics, but hopefully they'll get you to happen and learn a little bit too. Uh, we are getting ready for the winter break, and our first song is about how animals survive in places where it's super, super cold for months and months, snow and ice. I don't know about y'all, but I'm, I'm glad that I live in a place which is not so cold and icy. Here in Texas and Austin where I live, Winter is actually one of the best times of year. I love getting out in these December and January days and enjoying the weather that we've got. But farther north, it's way too cold for me. It is a serious bummer. I say it's winter bummerland, not winter wonderland. Now, my question for you first, before we get to this song, is why do we have a winter time? It is because the earth is not straight up and down. The earth is tilted, all right? And what that means is that as the earth goes around, the parts that are tilted away from the sun get shorter days and longer nights. So again, I live in Texas. Keep your eye on it. Here comes Texas, it's daytime when it's facing the sun, and then when it rotates away from the sun, it is now the nighttime, all right? And it's nighttime for a long time until you get sunrise the next day here in, whoops, here in Texas. So we are tilted away from the sun, and that produces winter when we're tilted toward the sun, like when we go over here, now the days are longer than the nights, and that makes summertime, all right? And when we're over here, it's even. It's perfectly even. We call that the equinox. 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of sunshine, of nighttime, wherever you go on planet Earth. But right now, we're tilted away from the sun, and we've got longer nights, and that means cooler temperatures, all right? Again, nice here in Texas, but as you go up here toward the poles, it gets super, super cold. Actually, the North Pole right now, you can't see it, can you? It's nighttime where my finger is all the time right now. At the North Pole, the sun is not rising. Okay, so 24 hours straight of darkness for days and weeks on ends if you were living up here at the North Pole. So here's a song about some of those adaptations that help animals survive, the special features and the tricks they do to survive the winter months. Days are short, the leaves are wilted, it's because the earth is tilted it's dark and it's cold the plants are on hold and i'm whining about the winter bummer land always whining about that cold weather gone away the migrators here to stay the hibernators they hide underground, their systems slow down. They snooze them through the winter, bummer land. See the mama bear so fat and sleepy. Snooze 
frozen in or den beneath the snow doesn't even wake up to go wee wee man in the spring she's really gotta go i think she's really gotta go in the nest turtle babies cold as ice kind of crazy they got their own in a freeze they survive 25 degrees frozen through the winter bummer land in the forest you can find a wood frog frozen solid has he met his fate green activity of a dead log but in the spring he's looking for a date He's all thawed out and looking for a soulmate I can't sleep through all the blizzards It gets cold and I just shiver Yeah, winter perplexes, that's why I moved to Texas That's my kind of winter wonderland All right, yeah, I do love winter in Texas, but I grew up a little farther north where it was cold and snowy and icy in the wintertime, and I never did really learn to like it, and I never did learn to hibernate, so I guess I migrated to Texas. All right, let's do another one. This is one uh, song that you've heard before, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Well, it's not exactly Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I was listening to this song one year, and I was thinking, you know, there are other creatures that have glowing body parts, right? Yeah, there are, like a firefly, okay? Uh, there are some glow worms, kind of caterpillars, actually, that actually produce some light. And then there's that fish way down at the bottom of the deep, dark ocean called the anglerfish. Do you know those guys? They've got a little light, and when it lights up, the fishies can't resist it. They got to go check it out, and they go swimming up to see what that light is all about, and then <laughs> chomp, they get eaten by that anglerfish. <laughs> that got me thinking that maybe, maybe Santa Claus did not go to Rudolph first. Maybe he tried an anglerfish. And so, I made up a new version of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And it goes like this. Oh, the old song of Rudolph we all know so well. But there's more to that story that I'd like to tell. Santa tried someone else first. But his choice could not have been worse. Randolph the deep sea anglerfish had a very shiny lure. And if you ever saw it, you'd be drawn to it for sure. All of the other fishies Swim up to his glowing light, pretty light. They never know that Randolph is gonna gobble them in one bite. Burp. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Ho, 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 Randolph, with that thing so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Randolph said to Santa, come a little closer to me. Mm, look, it's a Christmas light. I'm Randolph the deep sea anglerfish, and you'll go down in my belly. Do you think Santa Claus gets eaten by an anglerfish? That would make a terrible children's song, don't you think? But Santa knows karate. And he blocked Randolph's attack. Hiya! He said, You're being naughty. And he stuffed him in his big toy sack. And later, back in Christmas Town, topping Santa's tree, 
Randolph was there shining bright up by where he couldn't bite. Mm -mm. And Santa went to Rudolph, who just eats grass and leaves. And Randolph the deep sea angler fish did not go down in his story. All right. Happy holidays, everybody. I have sure had a lot of fun with you this semester trying out this online thing. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I have. And have a great holiday break. We'll see you back next year with a whole lot more songs, a whole lot more science for you on Bite Size Science 2021. Woo! Here we go. Oh, well, animals rock and hang, and animals roll. Oh, well, animals climb up on your head and they lose control. Some animals are hip, and some animals hop. Hop on the hop, well, animals they plop into the water with a belly flop. Because animals rock. Ho, ho, ho. See you next year.